Welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse. Why don't you come on in? Welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse. Let the fun begin. The fire safety dogs are here today. They practice their fire safety in every way. Welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse. Won't you come on in? Won't you come on in? Live from Sparkles Clubhouse, here are your hosts for Sparkle Safety Spot. Firefighter Dana and the Fire Safety Dogs. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse in Clarksville, Arkansas. I am your host, Dana Hilton, along with my good friend, Molly, the fire safety dog. Molly, can you wave at everybody? Oh, good girl, Molly says. Hello and welcome. It is a beautiful day here in Clarksville. We hope it is a nice day where you're from, whether you're watching this recording this version right now as we live stream or the recorded version later on. We're really glad you're here. Well, welcome Friday. We are really excited that it's Friday, aren't we, Molly? Yes, we are. Are you excited that it's Friday? <laughs> we have had a busy week. Yesterday, we Skyped with some boys and girls that lived in Mexico, all the way in Mexico, boys and girls. So Molly had a really good time sharing fire safety, didn't you, girl? So we had a good time doing that. We sang some songs. We rang, read our book. And just a great time. What else did we do, Mal? Do you remember? Do you remember? Or do you, are you getting tipsy this morning? <laughs> we, you played a lot this week, didn't you? Okay, that's good. You played a lot. We're working on writing some new fire safety programs. We cannot wait. We have a new program in which we are going to be uh, making a new Skype program, boys and girls. We have a couple right now, but this one is going to be geared towards older children, 5 through 11 years old. And it is going to be part of Skype in the Classrooms literacy project that they have coming up in February, so we're very excited. Be looking for be looking for that. We are going to be reading from our book, Sparkles Goes to Boston, which, by the way, we have never done before, and we are going to have a contest in which boys and girls can write their own fire safety book about Molly. So be looking for that. You can learn more about that on. Molly's Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Molly the Fire Safety Dog. More details will be coming on that shortly. Okay, Molly, can you have a seat? Here, sit. She loves sitting on my knees, don't you? All right, so today, boys and girls, we are going to talk about, about practicing your home fire drill with your family. This is something that we've never really, well, we've talked about it before, but not so specifically about the drill. So we're very excited to share that with you boys and girls today. We hope that you will, we hope that you will uh, do this with your family. It's, it's a good idea to have a home fire drill at least two times a year. Isn't that right, Molly? So here we go. Here is our fire safety tip for this for today. So to get started with your fire drill, you can have a grown-up push the smoke alarm button and then you want to make sure that everybody in your family practices how to get low and go. How to crawl low as well as how to get out of the house. Okay Molly, here we go. That's a good girl. So you want to make sure that you do that. So practice Practice getting low and also practice getting out fast. Do you think you could do that, boys and girls? The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that everybody knows that you need to get out and stay out. You don't ever want to go back in for your favorite toy. What else, Molly? <laughs> you don't ever want to go back in for your favorite pair of shoes, your pets, your family. You want to make sure you get out and you stay out and you stay at that meeting place. Can you remember that, boys and girls? So you can practice that. Also, 
You need to practice going outside to your meeting place. Where's your meeting place? It could be a tree, a fence, a mailbox, even a neighbor's house. Now, our meeting place is the mailbox, isn't it, Molly? Right here in Sparkles Clubhouse, our meeting place is just right outside. It is the mailbox. So make sure that everybody in your house knows where that meeting place is and that you actually go outside and go to that meeting place. And there, everybody waits until the entire family is there. Okay, let's see what else, Molly. We talked also about how important it is to practice this at least two times a year. Now, here's a really good idea for you. You can practice it during the day when it's light outside, and you can practice it night when it's dark. That way, you know what to do in case a fire happens when it's light or it's dark. So, let's see if you boys and girls can remember what to do, okay? So, you want to make sure to practice your fire drill with your family. Make sure, of course, that you have your plan, you know what to do. Practice getting out and staying out. And make sure that everybody in your family knows what to do. Can you remember that, boys and girls? All right, Molly, good. Here we go. We are going to sing the cat outside. So, Molly, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to play my ukulele, and we're going to sing the get outside because remember, it's important to get out and stay out. Right, Molly? Okay, here we go. Ready? You going to sing with me? Okay. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your fire in your house, then your smoke alarm will shout. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. Okay, we ready to do it again, Molly? Here we go. All right, ready? Ready, boys and girls? If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, then your smoke alarm will shout. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. Wow, that is very good, boys and girls. Didn't they do a good job, Molly? High five. Yes, here, up here. Up here, right here. High five. Yes, there we go. There we go. Good job, boys and girls. Now it is time for us to make the junior firefighters. So everybody raise your right hand and repeat after me. Molly, raise your right paw. Yeah, give me your paw. Here we go. Are you ready, boys and girls? Repeat after me. I promise to practice fire safety every day. Congratulations, you're all junior firefighters. Woohoo! Good job, boys and girls. We hope you had fun on this edition of Sparkle Safety Spot and that you will join us again next week when we will be sharing more fire safety tips. In the meantime, you can follow Molly the Fire Safety Dog on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Molly the Fire Safety Dog. You can also download her app on your smartphone or tablet. Ask your grown-ups to do this for you at just Molly the Fire Safety Dog. You can download that free. And also, you can follow Molly on Twitter at Molly the Fire Safety Dog. That's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much to our good partner, First Alert, for all you do to help keep boys and girls safe. Thank you so much for helping provide this program on behalf of of the Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation. That's going to do it for us. We'll see you next week. And everybody, stay safe. Goodbye. <laughs> Good job, Molly. Molly, you want to wave goodbye? Wave goodbye. Wave. Good job, Molly. <laughs> Good job. Bye, everybody.